Okay, let's take another question from the Patreon list. What do you think about men going their own way movement? <laughs> How does it conflict with objectivist principles? <laughs> Seems like there are legitimate concerns that the movement has arisen in response to the growing divide between men and women fueled by feminism and media, etc. But I'm not sure to what extent the movement branches off from well-reasoned argument and precisely how it might conflict with objectivist principles. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I, granted, I don't know too much about this movement, but it's nuts, right? What would life be without women? Women are fantastic. Women are amazing. Um, it would be boring. It would be uninteresting. What would life be without a spouse, a mate, uh, 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 you know, I don't know, I guess if you're gay, you could go off and just live in a male-only commune, but, uh, colony, but what would be the point in life without a romantic relationship, without sex? Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, relationships in the era of Me Too and in the era of, you know, third wave or fourth wave or whatever you want to call it, feminism, and in the, but it, but, Relationships are hot anyway. I think it's just a cop-out. Find a good woman. Find good female friends. Find good female companionship. They're half the human race. You can't just give up on them. It's just silly. So the idea of criticizing, you know, uh, the feminist movement when it's appropriate it should be done. Uh, criticizing them, the the... the the, I don't know, men, when they, you know, act ridiculously or, or act a chauvinist in an irrational way is legitimate. But you have to be objective and you have to criticize what deserves criticizing. You can't criticize all women. And you can't say because it's hard to date women, I'm just going to go off and never date again. Uh, it's hard. So you have to figure it out. You have to figure out where better women are and, and, and what you're looking for in a woman and what kind of relationship you want and for how long and how deep. And you have to figure all these things out. Um, but I wouldn't run away from a feminist. Uh, you know, if I was looking for a woman, I would definitely... Silicon Valley would be part of one of the places I would look for. And I'm sure a lot of them are feminists and politically correct and so on. Okay, well, educate her. Teach her that she's wrong. So, um, I mean, I'm interested in this more here. And uh, in, in Gabriel, if, if you want to ask me more, I'm interested. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of problems with women who um, are too masculine or who are, um, you know, afraid of men or resent men. And that's a real problem. Stay away from women like that. I still think there are plenty of women out there that deserve your attention, uh, that you will benefit from giving them attention, that you can enjoy their company. Certainly, you know, come to objectivist conferences where there are lots of women, or, but, but there are lots of women who are not objectivists who are worthy of male attention in spite of all the bad, uh, bad stuff. And look, the bad stuff affects men just as much as it affects women. I mean, a lot of women... A lot of women I know say, where do we find good men? Because uh, all these men have become feminized or they're wimps or, and they're wimps or, um, or they're brutes, they're ultra-right, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, treat women like shit. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's a complaint on the other side as well. So be a, be a good person and find good people to hang around with, men and women. All right.